Hello, and welcome to Vacations by Tiffany. I'm your go-to travel agent specializing in cruises, Disney, and more. In this episode, we're at Epcot for the 2023 International Festival of the Arts. This is one of my favorite festivals at Epcot. It's so fun to see the artists while they work on their masterpieces, eat delicious foods, and see great performances by different musical artists too. When you first enter Epcot, pick up a map and also a festival passport. This little book is full of great information that will guide you to the different art experiences and give you the menus in all of the countries. Be sure to bring a pen so you can check off the items you try. There's lots of unique merchandise that you can buy during the festivals at Epcot, and each year has a new design. There's spirit jerseys and t-shirts, mugs and water cups, purses and bags, limited edition pins, even phone cases for specific phones, and so much more. Another fun thing you can buy is Figment's Brush with the Masters map. Perfect for kids or anyone who likes a good scavenger hunt. Every year they have the expression section, which is a giant paint by number mural that you can participate in. You get a paintbrush and a specific color paint. Then you and your group gets to paint the squares. It's very impressive to see when it's almost done. One thing I always recommend during any festival at Epcot is loading up a gift card with some money and then using that all day to purchase your food and drinks. Now we head out into the World Showcase where you can see artists and painters at work at their own booths. You can listen to them tell stories or you can ask them questions. The first food booth nearby is called Pop Eats and here's the menu. Next in the passport is Deconstructed Dish. This one here is Deco Delights. Over near Canada is the refreshment port. Next up is Gourmet Landscapes in Canada. Joffrey's Coffee is featuring four different drinks around the park, all named after colors. There's lots of neat art displays in each country, like this easel with White Rabbit, and you can step into some artwork from Peter Pan. There's a few of these photo ops around the park. Now we head into France. Next to that is the Encanto food booth. As you journey into Japan, you can find the Sushi Chef from Monsters, Inc. as part of the Chalk Full of Characters display. There's many hidden characters throughout the countries. It's fun to see how many that you can find. The next food menu is also in Japan. Here's the artist's table at the American Adventure. Disney on Broadway is the evening entertainment 
But during the day, you can try your hand at some animation with the Animation Academy. There's a special funnel cake just for the festival. And here's the menu for Italy. Here we tried the mushroom ravioli with truffle butter and the mozzarella fritta, which was served on an artist palette with different toppings like pesto and marinara sauce that you could put on top. By Germany, you'll find Bavarian cuisine. We took this time to try the new DuckTales game, which you can play with the Play Disney app. Just download it for free and log in with your Disney account that you've already created and play along. With the game, we were able to make the cuckoo clock come alive. There's more shopping after you pass Germany and you can watch more artists creating art. Or hosting special signature sessions. Here's the refreshment outpost menu. Here's the menu for the Painted Panda in China. The Mariachi Band in Mexico is always fun to listen to. Here is a neat display featuring the famous artist Frida Kahlo. We headed inside Mexico to cool off and try another round of the DuckTales game. It seems there's lots of different options you can get to play and you can play the game more than once on multiple visits or with multiple family members. This mission led us into one of the gift shops to search for a guitar and then use the game to activate it. It's very neat interacting with the different effects around the park. And good news, this game is included in your park admission. Here's the menu for Mexico. Nearby is the Craftsman's Courtyard Food Booth. One of my favorite things during the Epcot Festival of the Arts is all of the different chalk art that you can see. You can watch as artists work sometimes too. And there's a neat optical illusion chalk art that you can be a part of, like sitting on Baymax's back while your photographer stands at just the right angle to take the photo. Here's some more art you can stand in, like the boating party from the Impressionist art movement. Another neat thing in the Festival Passport is the wonderful walk of color. Try five select dishes around the park and be sure to get your stamp for each one. And when you're done, you get a treat for free. So remember to bring the same passport if you're visiting Epcot more than once during the festival. Now we head into the Odyssey building to visit the next booth in the passport, Figment's Inspiration Station, which is new this year. Here's where you can find the very popular Figment popcorn bucket without having to wait for several hours. There's also more shopping inside and lots of room to sit and relax.
Here's a look at the menu. We purchased the grape smoothie with freeze-dried Skittles on top. It was very delicious. As we walked outside, there was this fun bubble machine. Makes for a really great photo opportunity. It's nice to take a midday break while you're walking through the parks. You could easily spend a full day at Epcot exploring all of the amazing things to see during the Festival of the Arts. Next up in the Passport Book is Modern, located over by Test Track. Here we tried the pan-seared scallops, which is one of the items on the wonderful Walk of Color. It was very delicious. I highly recommend it. And near the Modern Food Booth by Test Track is also more art and artists to see and shops. It's always fun to take a friendship boat as a shortcut out to Morocco to get to the other side of the World Showcase. Now we're heading to the America Gardens Theater to check out this evening's Disney on Broadway presentation, which can be a great way to start your night or cap off your day at Epcot if you're park hopping. The performers on the day we visited were Mandy Gonzalez and L. Steven Taylor. You can find a list online and plan your trip around which performers you'd like to see. Keep in mind though, entertainment is subject to change. In this particular performance, they sang excerpts from The Lion King, Aida, Beauty and the Beast, Coco, and High School Musical. There's a huge variety of songs and Broadway shows, so you may hear different songs being performed even on the same day. And once again, all of this great entertainment is included in the cost of your park ticket. Back again this year is the Muppets version of Beacons of Magic featuring the fun song, The Rainbow Connection. Beacons of Magic was new for the 50th anniversary, which will be going on only now through the end of March. Beacons of Magic has become one of my favorite things to come out of this celebration. So if you can, try to see it before the end of March, because in my opinion, it's a really nice way to end your day at Epcot. Epcot has become the park to visit for more festivals besides just the food and wine festival over the last few years. And the Festival of the Arts is one of the shortest, but it's also very, very popular. It's great for trying new foods, meeting new artists, or meeting some of your favorite artists, and having a great day full of artsy fun. If you're planning a trip to Disney World in January or February of next year, there's a very good chance the festival will be going on during your vacation. Check out the other Epcot episodes I have in my Walt Disney World playlist or below in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for new episodes coming soon all about cruises, Disney, and more. If you want to plan your next trip to Walt Disney World, please visit vacationsbytiffany.com to get started. See you next time!